Tread is 25 hardworking tools you wear on your wrist, including Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, hex and box wrenches, even a cutting hook and a bottle opener. So regardless of the job, the right tool is always at hand. Tread features 11 interchangeable links, each crafted from injection molded 17-4 stainless steel. There's an optional Swiss-made timepiece, water resistant to 200 meters, with a shock resistant sapphire crystal. And it all comes with a choice of two rugged finishes. Tread, the go-to, go-anywhere tool from Leatherman, the original American multi-tool. This is the armbar from Gerber. Sometimes a knife alone doesn't cut it. That's where this compact multi-tool comes in handy. It's designed to fit in your pocket, but the tool pack rivals that of a full-size multi-tool. The armbar features eight tools, including a full-size plain edge blade that closes with a liner lock, pry bar, bottle opener, striking surface, and spring-loaded scissors. The armbar cork handles your camp kitchen needs with a corkscrew, a lever arm, foil cutter, and a can opener. The armbar drive is perfect for anything that comes up on the go, featuring a two and a half inch driver with a double-sided bit, as well as an awl. With the armbar cork and drive, you have everything you need to upgrade your pocket. The FE series are fixed blade, close quarter combat knives designed for professional use. Utilizing concepts by Arsenio James Advincula, the knives were executed and designed by Alabama custom knife maker Jim Hammond. The massive quarter-inch thick blade features a recurved lower edge which cuts through and maintains edge contact better than a straight edge. The blade includes a partially sharpened top edge and at the rear of the top grind, a Navarro hook designed to catch and snag for engaging contact with a back cut. The drop point hollow grind blade has a fine black powder coat to minimize the reflective surface in tactical situations. Time tested O1 tool steel is hardened between 56 and 58 Rockwell to deliver exceptional field performance in a variety of combat environments. Based primarily on Largo Mano Escrima and Ishinru Karate, the distinctive FE handle facilitates maximum fighting efficiency in four grip positions. First position grip wraps the index finger around the lower guard face in the blade finger choil with the hand move forward for a compact fighting grip. Second position is the close quarter infighting grip, with the webbing of the hand choked up against the reverse curved upper guard, allowing the knife to be retained closer to the body for short striking distances while also aiding in knife retention. The primary third position grip assists in fighting an opponent who maintains distance while the second position provides a shorter grip when the opponent moves in. These two grip positions are interchangeable. Fourth position grip moves the hand to the rear of the handle with the index finger in the rear finger groove for chopping efficiency and reach. The knife comes with a full featured sheath with versatile Malay locks. CRKT knives and tools are fully backed by our limited lifetime warranty. The FE Tactical Knife Series is the optimal selection for close quarter combat solutions. Today at CRKT, we are taking a look at the Spark and Sharp. This is a Tom Stokes design. What it is, is you've got a magnesium fire starter right there, and then you've got a knife sharpener right here, kind of your carbide knife sharpener. And uh, basically that works just like any other sort of sharpener of this style. You take your knife, run it through there, and it will sharpen it up. Now this is a field sharpener. It's not gonna put the best edge on your knife, but if you're in an emergency, it's definitely going to do the job. Now, the other part of this that you need to know about is here's your magnesium fire steel, and uh, you're just going to take this little pushy button here, and you're going to push it the other direction. And when you push it that other direction, it's going to open up, and you will see on this edge there is um, a bevel there. And that's what you're going to use to strike against the magnesium fire steel. So when you first pull it out of the box, there's kind of a, a coating on this fire steel, you're just gonna rub that off real quick. Get it off so that it's steel against steel there. And then it's gonna throw sparks. Watch me light the studio on fire. Would be entertaining. You gotta, gotta get the strings out of the way, get them in your hand like this, and uh, light sparks. Let me just make sure that doesn't catch fire. That would be an entertaining day here. Anyway, so it's a pretty cool mechanism because it puts everything that you need 
into one little package. Now keep in mind, this moves both ways. So to put it back, just give it a little push, and that will wear in a little over time as well. So it moves both ways, and then it's in one convenient little package here, and you can just put that there. Comes with this nifty little lanyard, as well as your little lanyard pull here, so that you can carry it with neck carry, or however you'd like, strap it to your gear. This is the Bear Grylls survival belt from Gerber. It's a one-size-fits-all belt made of heavy-duty nylon webbing. The buckle twists off to reveal a small, water-resistant compartment that holds a compact fishing kit. On the underside, there's a mirror to signal for help, and on the reverse, there's a small flathead and Phillips driver in case you find yourself in need of tools. Also, there's a hidden zipper compartment to hold the Bear Grylls priorities of survival or matches. This is the Bear Grylls survival belt. The one thing you can always count on is Murphy's Law. What can go wrong? Well, you know the rest. That's why being ready and prepared with Titan Survival can make all the difference. Titan's emergency survival blankets are made of the same polyethylene material originally developed for NASA's space program. It's perfect for all emergency situations and all kinds of weather due to its waterproof and tear-free material that will help prevent hypothermia and shock by reflecting up to 90% of the user's body heat. Each five pack comes with individually wrapped 52 by 82 inch blankets that are sealed shut and take up minimum space for storage. Each blanket is both reusable and versatile and can be used as a blanket, a poncho, a signal or distress beacon, and for shade and wind protection. A must have for your go bag or emergency kit, Titan's emergency survival blankets will keep you ready for whatever's around the corner. Hi, this is John from Kinji, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Kinji, the world's smallest water safety inflatable. Everybody enjoys time in the water, but we all know that there's always a potential of danger. Over 372,000 people die each year from drowning. This is one statistic that we at Kinji want to change. We are doing that by bringing you the Kinji wearable. Whether you're swimming, surfing, stand-up paddling, or just floating about and relaxing in your pool, Kinji gives you peace of mind worn right in your wrist. With Kinji, if you feel like you're in a situation in the water in which you may need some additional support, this small, sleek, and stylish wrist-worn unit can deploy with just a pull of a lever, keeping you afloat until help arrives or you are safely out of harm's way. Situations such as exhaustion or medical emergency can happen at any time, and environmental dangers such as riptide and large waves can occur without warning. Kinji is there when you need it and is barely noticeable on your wrist when you don't. Kinji is reusable with a replacement Kinji CO2 cylinder and it can hold up to a 280 pound adult for over 48 hours. Have any doubts about its strength? Kinji can lift a van when inflated under the tire. Kinji is easy to use. Simply screw the Kinji CO2 cylinder into the Kinji unit and replace the cap. Kinji is now ready to inflate. Position your Kinji however is most comfortable. We recommend trying this out on land before getting to the water with Kinji. At the first sign of trouble, simply pull the lever and the Kinji unit inflates. Don't worry if your Kinji inflatable doesn't seem fully inflated. Over the next few seconds, the airbag will continue to fill as the Kinji is pulling you to the surface of the water. Once you reach the surface, pull the Kinji airbag to your chest, keeping your head afloat. You can use your free arm to alert others of help or begin swimming to safety. To deflate your Kinji, simply unscrew the Kinji CO2 cylinder and dispose at a local recycling facility. Push the CO2 out of the inflatable and fold the airbag back into the Kinji unit. To store your Kinji, make sure you rinse with clean, fresh water and allow to dry completely before storage. Extended exposure to salt and moisture can be harmful to your Kinji wearable. The award-winning Kinji is the one inflatable water safety device that won't get in your way while having the potential to keep you safe during an emergency.